Hello to my YouTube viewers, however many there may be. For now I know of only one that has subscribed, and one person I incited to join, and which did, but is not looking at any of my videos. So, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. My name is David Racine, and I have been living on a self-sufficiency farm basically all my life. Self-sufficient for the past ten years. Basically goes, I am an expert gardener along with every other member of my family, though I do have many other expertise, such as being a metal worker, a metal caster, a lumberjack, um, a machinist, all with machines I've built myself. So, uh, if you're watching this, well, I hope you're uh, someone that wishes to live self, uh, to suffice to himself in pretty much all aspects of life, because I consider um, being self-sufficient only in food to being not enough. Basically goes, what do you do when a machine breaks down? You just call a repairman? Most, as you might find out, barely know more than you do. I suppose they know from which end to hold a screwdriver, but many uh, don't know much more except how to change parts, and that is not much. What I do is much more. I repair the weld, uh, the wear, work the, uh, <laughs> the metal again on my little lathe, and then put it back. And, well, what can I say? I've repaired a whole lot of stuff. You could learn uh, how I do it by seeing me. Um, I'll be making other videos. Aside from that, well, the first thing about being self-sufficient is the mind. You don't look to others for your solutions. You don't look to experts. You have to think for yourself. A fine example of how uh, thinking for yourself in today's society is rewarded, I have a project here of uh, beekeeping. What I intend to do is to, uh, well, produce honey and sell it. But the best thing you can do is always have a backup plan. Though this is my plan, it's something I hope will uh, help me uh, have a better living. Maybe have my own farm someday. But you always think of how it can screw up. I mean, maybe they won't produce honey, it won't go well, or I'll be too lousy with my bees. Who knows? So, I'll be satisfied if I can just produce enough honey for all of my family's needs. And very disappointed if I can't even do that. But I see no reason. They don't produce much, but it's only because uh, the land here is poor and it's kind of lacking in flowers. You can see it for yourself. See? I'm not seeing flowers here. And other parts of the land are even worse. Out here. Ah, it looks all right, seen from afar, but actually there is not that many uh, nectar-rich flowers in there. Well, anyway, I always have a backup plan. It's better that way. And, yes, the frustrating thing, I would have liked to uh, receive some financial help in improving my land for my project, except uh, I can. But, uh, I can get up to $40,000 in, um, uh, well, I'm not exactly sure how to say this, uh, yes, in advice on how to, uh, take care of my land. Now, for those of you who don't know this, uh, improving land for bees, let's say, or many other things, involves mainly planting green manure and, uh, tilling it under. It doesn't take much thinking. It takes just about none, actually. And yet I would pay some advisor <laughs> a ridiculous amount of money to think for me when I can do it fine on my own. It's insulting, and this help is offered 
like that. All I had to do was ask and I get it. I want the same amount, let's say, but uh, to be used only to buy fertilizers, seeds, equipment, whatever. You get nothing. Nice society. Idiots that know get to be paid to do nothing for me. And, uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> Someday I'll probably have my competence recognized. Because I would like to improve this land with uh, organic fertilizers, phosphate rock, and granite dust, and of course manure. But they're pretty damned expensive, and I'd need dozens of tons of it for my whole land. So, for now, I'm forgetting about it. But, maybe someday. And it's the same for you. Um, I guess I'll be posting videos of most of the, of the things I do, many of the machines I've built, soon, very soon. You'll get to see uh, the machine I'm most proud of. It's a uh, uh, centrifugal huller, but I also use it to beat the uh, grains out of wheat uh, seed heads. And it can be used uh, to haul buckwheat, sunflowers, many, many other things, and you will get to see some of that.